Blackjack Davy, a decisive run, has to hold off microsecond as they straighten up. Blackjack Davy, two and a half, three length lead. Microsecond firing hard, but he has work to do as Blackjack Davy is still loaded and home. Blackjack Davy and Irad Ortiz Jr. strolling through the stretch will report home in front by four. Then it was microsecond and your beast life trying to fend off Mr. Winston. Creed is on the far outside and edge of fire. They're heading to the eighth pole. Mr. Winston and live your beast life. Creed is coming. He's a length and a half behind. Has to get to Mr. Winston late. It's Mr. Winston. A tough live your beast life and now Creed kicks it in. And Creed is up to take the lead close to home. Creed wins by a length. As the field passes the quarter pole and turns for home. Sniper shot, complexity. Jose Ortiz takes a peek back, and complexity is let loose now, and he turns it on coming to the eighth pole. Complexity opens up three. Nicodemus on the outside. Sniper shot. Backside of the moon is trying to get a piece, as is win, 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 but it's all about complexity, who comes back razor sharp. Complexity scores by almost three. Followed by Classic Lady in fourth, 55 will try to come around them, has work to do, angling to the outside for the drive, and then it's Munchkin Money there at the top of the stretch, and it's a wide open scramble, but 55 is suddenly kicking into high gear on the far outside as Classic Lady comes through at the rail. In between them, War Canoe fights on, 55 is up to take the lead, a tough Classic Lady is going to make her work, and she's going to make her work hard, 55 or Classic Lady, photo finish! Sixteenth left to go, and Bron is put under increasing pressure by Cezanne, and Pratt hasn't breathed on the favourite. Bron being shaken up at the quarter pole has absolutely no answer to the blinding acceleration of Cezanne, who has left his rivals floundering, coming toward the eighth pole. Cezanne by four lengths. Mongolian legends running a good strong race into second. Bron is next on the inside. It's Cezanne clear with a sixteenth left to go from Mongolian legend. Cezanne in front by two and a half lengths at the wire, Mongolian legend peeling some ground off him, but Cezanne Dusty's co-pilot turns it on now and opens up four easy lengths. Algorix is in second. Then comes Sanabi in third, followed by Papa Joel and Dreamy Martini, but it's a one-horse race. Christie's co-pilot and Paco Lopez will cruise to victory. Christie's co-pilot romps in by about six. Duopoly is the leader at the top of the stretch. Curly Ruth on the far outside into second. Down at the rail, Dance for Idol is in third, a 16th to go, and Duopoly is strong. Striding out very nicely through the stretch, and Duopoly will absolutely romp, streaking home by seven lengths. They're at the top of the stretch, and Crafty Lass goes on strongly, has a three-length lead. Chased by Trapped in My Mind in second. Center of the track bridge to Brooklyn, battling out a minor award with Real Wild Solution. A 16th to go, and it's Crafty Last clear by three. Trapped in My Mind, trying hard, but second best. Crafty Last wins it by three lengths. half in 45 and 3 and it is Charlotte Webley 
who has built a four-length lead. Ramon is giving chase in second. Then it is Quintigua, Miss Ross, and Vanita with aggravation. Charlotte Webley is drifting out. Ramon is down at the rail. Charlotte Webley still in front, and Charlotte Webley will prevail. Ramon. Tis a Prince is gathering a bit of momentum. There's three sixteenths of a mile to go. Pick and time, Bow Bridge have been inseparable throughout. And now Pick and time gets to the front. He's a half length in front of Bow Bridge who fights on. Three lengths in front of Tis a Prince. 16th pole and it's Pick and time. Pick and time, a good looking performance by Stay Thirsty, wins by two. Reagan's Edge is in between horses, three of them across the track, the half mile in 45 and two fifth seconds. Frank's Rockette closest to the rail has the lead here. It's Reagan's Edge and Center Isle as they pass the eighth pole. Frank's Rockette put to the test here by Reagan's Edge and Center Isle. Frank's Rockette holding on narrowly. Reagan's Edge, one last try on the outside. It is Frank's Rockette. Frank's Rockette looked like she got it over. And the field is in the stretch. Mr. Jaggers with the lead over Red Storm Rising. It's Mr. Jaggers by a length. Red Storm Rising in second. Bay Street Money way out in the middle of the course, but coming on late here. It's Mr. Jaggers trying to hold off Bay Street Money. Mr. Jaggers, Bay Street Money. Mr. Jaggers wins it. Bay Street Money was second. Three sixteenths to go. It's Bernie in front. Astio Talentoso starts to make a bit of ground. These two have kicked well clear of the others. Final sixteenth of a mile. Bernie still in front. Astio Talentoso surges one more time, but Bernie is clear. It's Bernie to win by a length and a half. Astio rally but by the 316s pole and it's sweet on a dominating proceedings a right-handed whip produced by franco sweet honor is clear by seven lengths tenga's jubilee holding second from cool night flattering pose alicia's pride making late headway into a minor placing but sweet honor strolls home beating tenga's jubilee And Double Crown is the leader. Less than a quarter of a mile to go in the carry back. Double Crown, an eighth of a mile from home and two on top with Verve. Takes aim while second, our nation on parade down the stand side. Final 16th of a mile, Double Crown is still in front. With Verve trying to get by, Double Crown with Verve. It's Double Crown to win it. He won And then Bold Daddy down on the inside. Tree Shaker is trying to get involved late as Flow Motion is up to take the lead. Belgrano on the outside moving into second with a dangerous late kick. It's Flow Motion or Belgrano. Slow Motion just in front. Flow Motion. Flow Motion wins by a length. Belgrano was second. Muskoka sound the rail still there. Walkabout Creek trying to muster a little bit of a late challenge now. But Chuck Willis has torn clear. And Chuck Willis is really in the zone. That last win and now this. Chuck Willis on the rise. Chuck Willis wins well. Scores by three or four lengths. Walkabout Creek second and a big... The quarter pole and Sonic Breeze skips away. Easily disposes of free running and leads under a left-handed whip by two and a half lengths. Dr. Shivel moving into seconds, running a strong race. He's trying to get on terms with Sonic Brees as they come to the eighth pole. Sonic Brees by two lengths. Dr. Shivel trying ever so hard to make a race of it, but Sonic Brees going on strongly with the job is too good for Dr. Shivel, who has beaten the rest out of Sonic
to bunched unit turning for home in the Los Alamitos Derby. It's Uncle Chuck, thousand words, throwing out a challenge. Great power back to third. Cosmo battles on. They have three sixteenths left to go. And it's Uncle Chuck by one length. Thousand words is trying hard to get on terms, but Uncle Chuck has the lead. He's clear. He's increasing his margin coming past the 16th pole. Uncle Chuck racing away from Thousand Words. Uncle Chuck by three. Thousand Words second. Cosmo was... As the field comes for the top of the stretch... Parsimony, here's Tacitus on the outside, Mr. Buff is under the whip and racing in third. Here comes Tacitus right alongside of Parsimony. And it is Tacitus to take over the lead with a furlong to the finish. Tacitus now draws away and Tacitus is pouring it on here. He's going to win the 134th Suburban. Tacitus by eight lengths. Relentless Dancer is off the rail. These two are wide as they come into the stretch. Relentless Dancer now has the lead by a length. Sidster continues to fight on to the outside. The whip comes out on the favorite and holding on to this lead is Relentless Dancer into the final furlong. Sidster still there, though. Relentless Dancer is relentless in front, though. Has it now by two lengths. Relentless Dancer just would not be denied and wins the Cheval tonight. Sidster was second along. He pounces almost immediately and is right there alongside of her. Is too as the leader as they come off the turn. Netta Bear now trying to rally from last here near as the grandstand. Mariah's Galaxy is driving. Mariah's Galaxy is now leading. Is two fights onto the inside. Netta Bear down the outside coming on. Mariah's Galaxy here comes. Netta Bear. Netta Bear. Mariah's Galaxy. Mariah's Galaxy holding her off and winning the first bit half. Quick, fast, and a hurry is also on coming. Down to the inside is Southern Liaison. Right there is Saber Cut in between horses. Final furlong now. Vacheray Girl, the leader. Quick, fast, and a hurry. Fighting on once again is Southern Liaison. Then Saber Cut is fourth. Vacheray Girl, Southern Liaison. On the outside, quick, fast, and a hurry. Vacheray Girl prevails. Southern Liaison. Awesome Rora threatening third. On the outside, Mo City has to go four wide, but making a nice move as the field turns for home. Dealer's Girl challenged now by Awesome Roar. And on the extreme outside, Mo City. Mo City on the outside. And Awesome Roar between horses. Dealer's Girl trying to fight on. Awesome Roar is bearing out badly. In the meantime, here's Tan and Tight. It's Mo City just in front. Tan and Tight. It's going to be a photo finish. Very, very close. Quarter of a mile to go. Here's Share the Ride coming to the front, running powerfully built. Powerfully built. Share the Ride engages. They'll arrive at the eighth pole together. Kong Style is in third. Down on the inside, haunted by the music. Coming to the 16th pole. It's powerfully built or Share the Ride. Share the Ride up on the outside. Gets his head in front. And Share the Ride will win it and pull away late. Another for Paco Lopez. Second.